All right, welcome back, guys. We got some hot fix notes. These are for Wonderlands for May 5th, 2022. You will notice that these go live if you see the versions 1.0.2.0C, I guess. Uh, and you can tell by going down here to this thing and you'll see the version. As you see, we're on 0B right now and we're looking for 0C when that goes live. Um, now, if you're playing the game and you want to have this hotfix apply, you have the option to do quit game and then quit to title screen and then go back into the game. That should push your hotfixes live for you. All right. So let's see. I'm not on the, the desktop screen. There we go. Shut. All right. So these changes will be live on all platforms by 930 a.m. Pacific time. That is by not at. Um, you can learn more by going to playwonderlands.2k.com and clicking on the news tab and find more there. All right. The weekly event for this week is in-game limited event. Limited time mini event will be active from May 5th to May 19th. So that's what, two weeks, 9 a.m. Pacific times when it goes live. They've activated in-game mini event Supreme Savings. Vending machines and SDUs are half price this week, along with mission items having a higher chance at being the item of the day. That's awesome, actually. I really like this a lot. Now's a great time to upgrade all your SDUs, it looks like, because in my opinion, the cash economy in this game is kind of eh. <laughs> uh, the Chaos Chambers featured run has been updated. A locally sourced artisanal run handmade just for you. The leaderboards have been reset. Will you top the charts? Featured runs are available in the Chaos Chamber after you completed the main story and rotate weekly every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. They're the same for all players, so jump in and see how your run uh, went compared to other Fate Makers. This run features Le Chance, not Le Change, Le Chance, and Blue Hat Monstrosity. Get ready to take on a new preset run in the Chaos Chamber. Uh, change notes, they tore down unintended, unintended Collision and Tangle Drift. Bonuses from Smart Armor would occasionally be lost when in Save Your Soul or during level transitions, so they fixed that. Very nice. We got some class adjustments. We found that Stabomancer and Clawbringer were not matching up with our damage expectation for higher chaos tiers. These are a few changes we were able to release now, and we anticipate more changes based on what we've seen from community in the future. Continuing to monitor and investigate improvements to underperforming and overperforming classes to see how they interact. So for the Stabomancer, they're increasing the Ethereal Blade to deal 150% of the Fate Maker's melee weapon damage instead of 100 and the ghost blade weapon damage is increased by 10 percent pretty nice clawbringer the all critical hit chance is now 13 percent per point instead of 11 so a little bit of an improvement there all critical damage is seven percent per point instead of five percent dragon aura elemental damage now five percent instead of four percent huge change there <laughs> uh, oath of thunder deals six percent bonus melee damage per point instead of five percent another big one percent bump there maybe that's enough i don't know and then Firebolt gun damage is now 10% instead of 8%. Uh, I would I would need to test these things to see how these seemingly small percentage increases actually play out. Uh, we got some gear adjustments. The Warp Paradigm. We found that the Warp Paradigm was increasing damage outside the expected range that we balanced it for. We've adjusted it down slightly to make sure it wasn't creeping too far out of those expectations. The adjusted Warp Paradigm stack conversion was uh, changed from 50% to 35%. I hadn't really uh, noticed too much on that, but whatever. Uh, shotguns, Torg shotguns, they've increased all Torg manufacturer damage scaling by 17.6%. Wait, what? Are they saying that they buffed? Wait, what? You? Huh? Am I reading this right? Are they saying that they buffed Torg shotguns? <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Hawkins Wrath, they've increased the fire rate by 75%, and they've increased the damage scaling by 10%. This is good. Hawkins Wrath is, um, you can only get it from the Chaos Chamber, and it feels really, really, really bad. Sword Explosion, Sword Explosion now spawns with at least one foregrip part. This will not affect current versions of the weapon, so you will need to go farm La Change to get yourself a Sword Explosion. And he has three items in his loot pool. So if you have maximum loot luck, be prepared for a long ass farm. <laughs> you can also get the sword explosion randomly from the from the barf bunnies in the chaos chamber too, though. They are also increasing the sword explosion projectile speed by 150%. Very nice. Increased sword explosion fire rate by 194%. Nice. 
and increased sword explosions damage scaling by 14%. Sword explosion might be decent now. Be on the lookout for a times three sword explosion while you're doing your farming. Rain of Arrows, the adjusted Rain of Arrows uh, area damage tick time from 0.2 seconds to 0.25 seconds. Don't know how that's going to play out. The Crossblade, the elemental effect chance was very, very low uh, for how many projectiles got fired per shot. Increased Crossblade weapon status effect chance by 100%. Note each Crossblade blade always has a chance to apply its damage over time. And then the Divergent, this is from the Coiled Captures DLC. They've increased the divergent damage scaling by 20%. All right. Well, that's th those are some changes. I hope you guys enjoyed this hot fix video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon for more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.